I've been an environmental reporter for about five years, um, first at environmental publication, and then I came to Mother Jones two years ago. In about the last year, I've really added reproductive rights um, and um, uh, sex and gender issues to my beat as well. Um, and I cover policy mostly and what's happening uh, both in Congress and the Obama administration here in DC. But then I also follow sort of globally what's happening in terms of policy and trends. One of the biggest challenges in covering that beat is even just articulating what that means. Uh, so right now I think my, my author bio says I cover energy, environment, and reproductive rights. And you know, it doesn't necessarily follow that those things are all related. But the way I think about it is that I am really interested in covering um, sort of what our policy decisions, uh, are, what, what sort of future they're laying out for us and how we make policy that you know, creates a better future for everyone, not just here in the US, but around the world as well. And so that involves a lot of covering climate change and resource issues and um, you know, even looking at sort of uh, global trends in terms of population and poverty and how all these are related and you know, how these things really intersect with each other. And it's sort of in, it, with that general theme of looking at well, you know, where are we going in the future. Right now I'm doing a lot of reporting on adaptation and looking uh, to climate change and looking ahead to the future and looking at how human societies are already responding to changes that they're seeing in terms of uh, resources, water resources, agricultural resources, um, and uh, planning for food and population growth and migra migration patterns. Um, and so I'm seeing that as a really ripe area where these things intersect. Uh, when we're talking about just you know how many people we're going to have in the future and where they're going to be, and whether we can meet their their needs in a society that is uh, you know constantly changing. Another thing I see is where these really intersect and an area that I cover really often is energy issues. And when we talk about, you know, not only um, making sure we have uh, sort of the resources to, uh, to take care of our, our world population as it you know, continues into the future, making sure that we are actually also um, creating a better future for the world's inhabitants. And a lot of that does depend on energy and making sure that energy is available and, you know, making sure the people who don't have uh, access to energy right now have it in the future, but also sort of taking into account the fact that um, our, our fossil fuel resources are a finite uh, resource and that we need to start thinking about ways that we're going to do this sustainably uh, for the world population in the future.